The next person is Professor Sarah Chandler, who chairs the Law Society Human Rights Committee. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for inviting the Law Society to be part of this very important conference. We are committed to seeking the protection of the residents of Ashraf and will continue to join with you in doing so. You know, there's 135,000 solicitors in England and Wales, and some of them are human rights specialists, but you don't have to be a human rights specialist to protect human rights, and you don't have to be a lawyer to protect human rights. Every one of us can and should protect human rights. In our committee in the Law Society, it's called the Human Rights Committee, we work to protect the rule of law, to extend access to justice, and to protect and promote human rights. And because of that, we participated with you all in the symposium in Church House in 2005 in Paris, when Malcolm Fowler was part of the delegation in June 2007. In 2007, we hosted and participated the press conference which declared to the world that the prescription of the PMOI was unlawful. And in 2009, following the tax in July, we wrote to the Special Representative for the UN. We called upon UNAMI to create, in accordance with its mandate set down in UN Security Council Resolution 1830 of 2008, a presence in Ashraf to ensure the protection of the people of Ashraf until a more permanent solution could be found. We stated through our president, concrete steps such as this must be an urgent priority if we are to prevent further killings of innocents in Ashraf. In May this year, the Law Society Council denounced the April attacks by the Iraqi security forces, and the Law Society's declaration was reported widely in the press. It is so important that the situation is exposed, denounced, and support for people in Ashraf and for democracy in Iran is publicized. Since the announcement of the closure of Ashraf and the removal of the residents, we have done what we can in raising our concerns through letters and articles in the press. We have seen the photos of Liberty over there. You can see very directly what it's like. It's a misnomer. As David Ames said, it's a prison camp. It can't be called liberty. As Lord Clark says, it's a concentration camp. High wall surveillance, the presence of security, Iraqi armed forces in the camp means that it cannot offer protection in any way. We need to know, an investigation needs to discover, it needs to expose what kind of decision-making took place to create this abomination. And we need to know what the participation of the United Nations was in the setting up of this camp. Rest assured, the Law Society in its role as one of the leaders of the legal profession in the UK will continue to remain an outspoken critic of the violation of human rights and in particular, we will speak out in defense of the human rights of the residents of Ashraf. We add our voice to the call for the protection for Ashraf. Thank you.